She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Now and then when I see her face, she takes me away to that special place where they must stay too long. Probably break down and cry. Hi guys, this is How to Play Sweet Child of Mine, the classic song um, by Guns N' Roses in the super easy uh, beginner style for, for rhythm guitar. So this is just the chords we're looking at for this song. If you want to know how to do the solo parts, this video is not for you. This is for absolute beginners. Um, with this song, um, the tuning of Guns N' Roses is not in standard tuning. So, playing along to the original can be really tricky for this song. The chords that I'm showing you are the original chords that are used in the proper version of this song. Um, however, as I say, they tune down. Well, if your guitar is in standard tuning, um, we have the notes E, A, D, G, B, E. And in Guns N' Roses, because they're a heavy rock band, they tune down with all the same notes but onto the flats. So E flat, A flat, and G flat, for example. And uh, D flat, sorry, so, for, so on and so forth. So um, what I have done is below there is a link to a version of this song, which is the original, but hired up by half a step, which is basically putting the song back into standard tuning. So this, using this method, you can play along to the whole of this song. Um, there's a few more chords towards the end and there's an A chord in the chorus. However, um, you can play along to this song with the chords that we've covered in, this, in these courses so far. And then play along to the original if you play along to the version that is for a free download on my website. You can go to my website and download it. Um, so yes, hopefully this is something that you'll really enjoy. A lot of my students really dig it as well. And as I say, to reiterate, this is the correct way to play that these chords, if you're down-tuned like they are in the song. Otherwise, you're kind of looking at doing it with bar chords and capos, and it's also not going to sound exactly kind of like the record as well. So to play along to the verses and the uh, beginning guitar solos to this song, until it kind of goes crazy a little later on. Um, we have two bars of a D chord. So two strums to begin with. Then to a C major for two strums. Two bars. And then a G for two bars. And then finally finish on D for two strums again. Two bars. So the chord sequence is bookended by Ds, just to give you a heads up. And from the top, this would sound like She's got a smile, another strum of a D Then to a C, B of childhood Memories to a G When everything was as fresh as the bright blue back to D That happens uh, again, that would happen twice for your verses And this also goes over the solos Do 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 Every solo that starts like that, this also applies to as well. So let's strum, strum along to this song together um, on the beat, starting from your D chord, two bars of each chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, then to a C. Two, three, four. One, two, then to G. One more time. D from the start. D again. Then to C. G takes me away to that. One, two, three. Then a G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a D. Two, three, and pause there. Um, for the chorus, we do have an A major in this song. So um, it's kind of slightly cheating from the three chords idea, but it's too classic a song not to cover. 
So here we have, an, just do it with a normal open A chord, any way that you want to do it, three fingers in a line, or the beginner's way that we've covered in other videos, and we have A, mute, A. One, one, two, and three, four. And then mute again, and then a C chord. So the rhythm there, one, two, and three, four. Then to your C chord, one, two, and three. And then a, two bars of a D chord to finish. The same thing again would happen. So two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, C, two, three, four. And that lines up to the, the second half of, of the chorus lyrics. So, whoa, oh, 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 sweet love of mine. Lines up quite well if you think of, of that one when you're playing along to it. So let's go for the full chorus together in one, two, three, four. Whoa, whoa, from, from, the mind, two, three, four, one, two, from an A. Whoa, oh, 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 sweet love of B, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then you're back to the chords that we covered in the verse. Um, so, fairly straightforward for how you'd imagine this song would go. However, as I say, with the detuning and things, it's kind of, it's deceptively difficult from chord sheets or tabs. And this way should be a lot easier for you and is also the proper way. It just saves us down tuning with the version that I've made for you. That's simply all it saves. Um, so let's go for that chorus one more time and then we'll go straight into another verse and hopefully back into a chorus as well. From the A in the chorus, the tricky bit, in one, two, three, four. Strum, strum, C, then to D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Strum, mute, strum, strum, mute, strum, and D. And then back to your original chord sequence, we'd start it on a D again. D one more time, two bars of a C. Two, three, four, one, two, then a G. A one, two, three, four, one, two, finish on C. And then we're back into a verse. She's got eyes of the blue sky. See if they got a brain to a G. I'd hate to look into those eyes and see how so pain. One more verse. Her hair reminds me of a warm simplicity. As a child, I'd hide that. She had prayed for the thunder and a rain to quietly pass me. Chorus coming up. Three, four. A, A, C, C, D, two, three, four, one, two. And that's how to play along to all your verses and your um, chorus as well. So slightly... To make your strumming more interesting in, in this sum, the strumming pattern we're going to go for is one of the most common strumming patterns actually. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. That would cover your one, two, three, four and basically replace it. So this is one bar. Down, two, and three, and four, and. It's kind of a funny strumming pattern to get used to at first because we're missing out a down strum on the third beat. One, two, and, and four. So we're missing out that main beat. It feels strange, but if you give it a go, this, is, this should make it sound pretty cool. Just on a D chord, this would sound like down, down, up, up. And that happens on every chord when we go to the C. Down, down, up, up, down, down to a G. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And that 
that will sound really great along to the record. Um, for the ending, we do have a couple of chord sequences here that we can't do from this course point of view, but I will show you now because there's a way that we can do this with this method and do it all with kind of basic open chords. A couple of them may be new to you, some of them you may already know. It starts on an E minor. And this is for the, um, the big ending guitar solo. So we kind of had a build up and a solo. The solo, it starts like that. This is where we're um, starting with your chords from. So we have a bar of E minor, a bar of C, a bar of a B7, and an A major. So B7. And that repeats for the whole first half of that big long guitar solo at the end. If you haven't come across you know, a B7 or a lot of these chords before, then don't worry about it. You can still play along to all the kind of pop part of, of this song, the main verses and chorus, and it's fun to sing along to. But these chords are really very doable, so um, downs and up strumming would do absolutely fine. One, two, and three, and four, and 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 um, Really handy. And um, then after the solo kind of goes a little bit crazy, and he uh, starts with a wah pedal, um, then the chord, changes, chord sequence changes slightly. It goes E minor, G, and then C and a D. So again, the chords aren't very difficult. It's how you play them and being able to apply them to this song, which is the tricky part of it. That sequence one more time, and we're strumming this in the pattern of um, how the chorus went before. So, whoa, oh, 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 sweet Caroline. That's how we're doing these, uh, this ending. So, E minor to a G. Strum, strum, a C and a D, both on the beat at the end. So let's play this together. I'll slow it down a little for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. G, two, and three, four. A, two, and three, four. C, and a D. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. C and a D, and this uh, chord sequence is also appropriate for the very ending, which is your Where do we go now? Oh, where do we go now? C to a D. Really appropriate for that, and um, your ending, sweet child, sweet child. It's all the same chords of ends on your E minor. So the whole song done with open chords is uh, really handy. Um, so now you play along to the whole record of Sweet Child of Mine. As I say, the version that I have made for you, which I recommend that you play along to the record with, um, is downloadable for totally for free below on my website. Uh, check out any of my other videos if you dig them, and hopefully I'll see you again. the same, the details have changed since I moved away years ago. The place I was born, where I say I'm from, with an accent not strong as before. My hometown. In my hometown. My memories are here, my heart always is in this town Changing from my background, an old mining town